Now you've set your skull as FL's audio device, let me show you how to record audio to a track. Start by saving the session. Go to File, Save, and name your session. To set the input channel, head over to the mixer by clicking View and then Mixer. We'll be configuring our input settings to Insert 10. Simply select the insert and head over to the right hand side of the mixer. Here you'll see a drop down titled None. This is where you can configure your input channels for each track. Click on the input channel drop down menu and you'll see the option for your Scarlet 4th Gen Mono. Input 1 corresponds to input 1, and input 2 corresponds to input 2 of your skull, and so on, if you have a larger device. I'll be selecting input 1 to record input 1 from my skull. The record arm button enables a specific track to be ready for recording. Let's select the record arm button on our chosen insert and then exit the mixer. At this point, we also want to change our arrangement settings within FL. Head over to the transport controls and make sure song has been selected instead of pattern. Before we start recording, when pressing the record button, you may be asked what you want to record. If so, select audio into the playlist as an audio clip. Press the record button in the top transport bar to start recording. Play your instrument or sing into the microphone connected and you'll see the waveform being recorded on the track. Testing, testing, la 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 la. Testing, one, two, three, la la. Ooh, la. To stop recording at any point, press the space bar or the stop button. You can play back the recorded track by pressing the space bar or the play button. Testing, testing, la 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 la. Testing, one, two, three, la la. Ooh, la. To create a new audio track, head over to the mixer by clicking view and then mixer. Select a new insert and choose your input. Again, channel 1 corresponds to input 1, and channel 2 corresponds to input 2 of your skull, and so on if you have a larger device. Remember to record arm your track before you start recording. 